Welcome everyone, Apple has made it so you will lose your data if you do remove the iOS 17. The method of creating an iOS 17 backup, then restoring it on the old iOS 16 doesn't work, the error is on screen. Restoring an iCloud backup doesn't work, the error is on screen. If you did have an iOS 16 backup made in iTunes or Finder, it will restore however. So to remove the iOS 17 beta, and reverts to iOS 16. The first step is in the home page of settings. You're going to see your name at the top, and I want you to tap on your name. From here, you're going to locate where it says Find My, and then you're going to find Find My iPhone. And for the removal, we must turn off Find My iPhone. You can enable this after you remove iOS 17. You will now need to move to a computer, and if you have a Windows computer, I will have the iTunes download, just download iTunes. iTunes is built into the Macs. Now we need to get the firmware file for our iPhone. So I will have this firmware download link in the description. You're just going to select your device. So I have iPhone, and the model is iPhone 13 mini. And then we're going to look at the signed. If iOS 16 is in the signed area, we can proceed. If not, Apple has blocked downgrades to iOS 16. So let's click on the signed iOS 16 and let's click on the download. This is a large file, you will need to be patient. Once the firmware file has downloaded, you're going to search for and open Finder. If you have a Mac, on Windows, you're going to search for and open iTunes. Once you have done this, you will need to connect your iPhone to the computer and it should show up in the app. On Mac, you may see this message. Just click on not now. But if your iPhone is not showing up on Mac, you will need to update to the latest Mac OS. Let's click on our iPhone and it's asking to trust the connection. Click on trust and on the iPhone, unlock it and then tap on the trust message on the iPhone. From here, we're now going to do the factory reset. We need to hold down on a Mac computer, the option key and while holding option, we're going to left click restore iPhone on Windows. You're going to hold down shift and we're holding shift left click restore iPhone. You will now locate where the firmware file was downloaded and then you're going to click on restore. If you get an error saying the firmware file is incompatible, your iPhone model is here so you downloaded the wrong firmware file for your device. Now let's wait for this to finish. Once the reset has been completed, set up your device, but one thing to avoid is this. You cannot restore from iCloud or Mac backup. Instead, you will need to select don't transfer apps and data. If you do try to restore your backup, here is the error right here. Once the device is set up, if we go to the about page of settings, you can see the downgrade was successful. And I'm now on the older iOS 16.5. With that being said, if you'd like to help support the channel, please do check the description. Bye bye.